What's up you guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music, gonna bring the song Breathe by Pink Floyd. Uh, the main part's really easy, the other section, you know, it's not hard, but I think you'll uh, enjoy challenging yourself. So anyway, let's dig in and check this lesson out. All right, we start with two really easy chords, but really cool Pink Floyd moody sounding chords. The first is E minor seven, and so if I put my middle finger on the second fret of the A string and st strum the whole guitar, that's an E minor seven. Then I just move my middle finger over to the second fret of the D and I grab the second fret of the B string and now that's A seven. To show you a few things about that. One, let's start with the ry rhythm pattern. Down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, up. So on that E minor seven, you can add second fret, open E, and that's called E minor nine, and that's in there sometimes. You know, more on the slide thing, but you can get that in there. And on the A seven, you can add third fret on the B string for this a sus, A7 sus4 sound. So the next section, you take a C chord, but make it C major seven. You just take your index finger off. Same rhythm pattern, then a B minor bar chord. So you're barring that second fret, A minor looking shape. Then uh, an F chord, and I'm playing it three, three, two, one, with the open high E in there. So that would actually be called F major seven. And then the next chord's G, so in that little demo I just slid it up. But any way you can play a G, you can play the full bar chord. Or you can play a regular G chord. And then you get to this little jazzy little set of chords, two chords. But really all you're doing is changing one finger out. So the first chord's D7 sharp 9, also known as the D Hendrix chord. So it's five, four, five, and then six on the B. And then when that pinky comes off, I'm letting my index grab that fourth fret of the B string. 
while I'm still holding that chord. So it looks like this. And then I pinky off, index rolls over. And then the trick of that is that your ring finger doesn't block the B string. So you can hear that note. Might take you a little practice if you've never done it before. Good to have though. All right, so the whole B section. C major seven to B minor. F major seven. And then G. Hendrix flat nine. So this is called D seven sharp nine. And that note, by the way, is the nine. When you play this, now it's called D7 flat nine. So the natural nine is that fifth fret, which we're not playing at all. We're playing a sharp nine and a flat nine within the D7 chord. Here we go. The other section, C major 7, B minor, F major 7, G, Hendrix flat 9 to the top. All right, thanks so much for watching the lesson. I hope you had fun uh, strumming along. Uh, also, I appreciate you supporting Marty Music any way you can. You know, you can go to the website and sign the newsletter and get some free courses. I uh, appreciate you subscribing here. You can leave your requests in the comments below. Thank you again, and I hope to see you real soon.